Hello boys and girls of grade 6, I am Miss Martina Archer Semple and today in science we would be looking at worms. What? Worms. Yes, we would be looking at worms. At the end of this lesson, our objective is to identify what is a worm and list the characteristics of worms. Right. Now we have to pay attention because in the midst of our lessons, from time to time, we would have questions that we would have to answer. Right, so take out your notebooks, take out your pencil, put on your listening ears. Let's get started for today. Worm. Any of the various unrelated invertebrate animals that typically have soft, slender, elongated bodies, although all worms have more than two layers of cells and most have long slender bodies the various groups of worms are different from each other in other respects worms are members of several invertebrate phyla including flatworm segmented worms ribbon worms round worms pinworms, peanut worms, spoon worms, and arrow worms. Yes, all of these different types of worms. Characteristics. What are the characteristics of this or the similarities of worms? What they have in common? Biologists classify worms into three major phyla. They are flatworm, roundworm and segmented worms. Yes, the flatworms, the roundworms and the segmented worms. The three main groups of worms are the flatworms, the roundworms and segmented worms. Worms are invertebrates. Yes, worms are invertebrates because they do not have backbones. Worms have bilateral symmetry. Worms have cells, tissues, organs, and systems. Worms have a brain and sense organs. Yes, worms have a brain and sense organs. Some worms reproduce sexually some worms reproduce asexually yes some reproduce sexually while some reproduce asexually okay first question if you were paying attention you would be able to answer this question correctly each sentence that is true about worm you circle the letter next to it yes each sentence that is true about worm, you would circle the letter next to it. A. There are three main groups of worms. If that is true, we circle A. Good. B now. Worms have radical symmetry. Worms have radical symmetry. C. Worms have a brain worms have a brain
All right, second question. Is it true or is it false? All worms reproduce asexually. All worms reproduce asexually. If that is true, you write true next to that question or that statement. If it is false, you write false. All right, so now you tell me which term tells about worms. Which term tells about worms? A, invertebrates, B, bilateral symmetry, or C, vertebrate. Which of those statements tells about worms? Okay, let's look a little bit about flatworms. Flatworms are the simplest group of worms with bilateral symmetry. They are flat, as soft as jelly, and mostly parasitic. Yes, they are flat, as soft as jelly, and mostly parasitic. Flatworms are one of the three groups of worms. Some flatworms are parasites. Parasites live on or in another organism called a host. Yes, parasites live on or in another organism called a host parasites take food from their host tapeworms are flatworms and those are parasites do you think tapeworms live in human beings and animals i think so yes they live in human beings and animals right and they are parasites some flatworms are free living some flatworms are free living. Now, free living organisms do not live on or in a host. Free living flatworms live in water or wet soil. Planarians or planarians are a kind of flatworm. They are free living scavengers. Yes, they are free living scavengers. Scavengers eat dead or decaying things. Scavengers eat dead or decaying things. Planarians also eat other small animals. Yes, the planarians eat other small animals. All right, this is our fourth question for the lesson. I want you to have two headings. The first heading, you put the word term, T-E-R-M, term. Under the word term, I want you to write free living, free living. Under that, you write parasite, parasite. 
on the parasite, you write the word scavenger. Scavenger. Yes, write the word scavenger. Good. Go back at the top in the same line with term. On the opposite side, write the word meaning. So we're going to identify the meaning of these terms. Correct. Now, what you have to do is listen to them because I, do, I would not call them in the correct order. So you would take your pencil and your ruler and you would match them correctly. Good. So we're going to match the term with their meaning. The first meaning, A, takes food from host. First meaning, takes food from host. B, eats dead and decaying things. Eat dead and decaying things. C, does not live in or on a host. Does not live in or on a host. Right, so you're going to take your pencil and your ruler, boys and girls, and you're going to match is free living means taking food from host or does it mean eats dead and decaying things or does it not live in or on a host you have to match the term with what we would have just talked about earlier and match it to the correct meaning Okay, let's continue. Number five, which word tells what a parasite lives on? Which word tells what a parasite lives on? Is it A, scavenger? A, scavenger? Is it B, host? B, host? Or is it C, larva? C, larva. Okay, number six, organisms that do not live in or on a host are called what? Okay, yes, we would have done it. Organisms that do not live in or on a host are called Okay, let's continue with our lesson. And remember, we have to pay attention because as we go through again the explanation, you would have questions again. Okay, let's continue. Unlike flatworms, 
Roundworms have a digestive system that is like a tube. Yes, open at both ends. Yes, the roundworms have a digestive system that is like a tube. It open at both ends. Okay, roundworms. Roundworms are one of the three groups of worms. Roundworms live in many places. Some roundworms are parasites, not all. Some roundworms are parasites. Other roundworms are free living. Roundworms have a digestive system that is open on both ends. Yes, roundworms have a digestive system that is open at both ends. Food goes into the mouth and moves through the body. Yes, food goes into the mouth and moves through the body. Waste, however, leaves through the anus. Right, waste leaves through the anus and an opening at the other end. Let's go over that again. Waste leaves through the anus and opening at the other end end good all right now you would have listened to that we have our seventh question now now what is true about roundworms we just talk about roundworms what is true about round worms a some roundworms are parasites some roundworms are parasites b Roundworms have a digestive system with two openings. Roundworms have a digestive system with two openings. Roundworms can live in only one place on earth. Roundworms can live in only one place on earth. Now, if that is true, we would circle the correct answer, okay. Question number eight. Okay, now you have to draw a box, and in the box, you're going to place three words. One word is tube. Yes, the next one is mouth. And the other one is anus. Yes. Now, I'm going to read a statement. And in this statement, you have to tell me which of those words are missing. Yes, which of those words are missing? Food enters a worm's body through the... Food enters a worm's body through the tube, mouth, or anus. The food moves through the body, the food move through the body, waste leaves the worm's body through the, waste leaves the worm's body through the tube, mouth, anus. Which of those words have to fill in there?
All right, let's go on to segmented worms. Now remember, we have to listen all about segmented worms because we have questions coming after the explanation. Segmented worms have bodies made up of many linked sections called segments. Yes, segmented worms have bodies made up of many linked sections called segments. Segmented worms are one of the three groups of worms. Remember all the time we were talking about flatworm, round worm, now we're at segmented worm. Segmented worms have bodies made of many parts joined in a row. Yes, earthworms are one kind of segmented worm. Earthworm are those worms that you would take, we would go and we would dig worm bait, yes, and we would put those worms on the hooks and we go and we fishing with it, we go and catch fishes, right. Segmented worms have a digestive system that is open at both ends. Yes, imagine that, both ends are open. They have a mouth and an anus. Segmented worms have a closed circulatory system. Yes, segmented worms have a closed circulatory system. Blood stays inside tubes in their bodies. Yep, blood stays inside tubes in their bodies. Earthworms make tunnels in soil. The tunnels make the soil better for plants. Earthworm waste also makes soil better for plants. Right, we say the worm brew the soil. Right, that is what the earthworm does. Yes. So here we have, we come to question number nine, all about segmented worms. So you're going to tell me which is the correct or the true statement about segmented worm. We have A, B, and C. So we have to pay attention and remember what you would have just learned. Segmented worms do not have a mouth. Segmented worms do not have a mouth. B. Segmented worms have a closed circulatory system. Segmented worms have a closed circulatory system. C. An earthworm is a segmented worm. An earthworm is a segmented worm. All right, here we're having, for number 10, we have pictures, and you have to tell me now, these pictures, which are showing segmented worms, which are showing segmented worm.
And this would have brought us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you would have learned about the three types of worms, which is segmented worms, round worms, and flat worms. All right. So long, boys and girls. This is Miss Martina Archer Sempo saying, be good, be safe. Bye.